production of Mr. Uh, the, the, the region that was supposed to live in the issue. And the defense appeal positive to a staff. You have no hand on that because it is not free TV. Is that correct, Mr. Chair? But my statement, if I may recall correctly, uh, Mr. Chair, is you so far as violation of the franchise uh, with respect to free TV, uh, whether it's radio or television, we have not violated any uh, transmission uh, uh, procedure. Mr. Chair, so you're mentioning this with the procedure to highlight the fact that you have not violated the suspension order, correct? Yes. That is the... The, 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 the suspension and the CDO. Uh, the suspension and the CDO. You're talking about you are relying on YouTube to go around the issue of the suspension order. But the question, Mr. Chair, is that when it comes to production, is it not a shared responsibility, not even shared? It is the responsibility of SMNI under their franchise. Because as you mentioned, there's no separate corporation for production. Yes. So whether or not it is aired, I understand, Mr. Chair, honestly, that the uh, is having it. Because it's through YouTube, there is no transgression of the cease and desist order. But regarding the sections 4 and 7 on the substance of the production, it is something that has been skirted all day long, Mr. Chair. Kasi kung tinatanong ko natin dito, as uh, simply pointed out by the Honorable Dasa, if it wasn't free to air, where would they draw the line? Because apparently, if you take it out, the, the NBC suspends it, wala na po doon. They feel that, and they are still producing photo. They're not airing it, but they're producing the content. That there is no need to draw any line. Because after all, they do a crime, they'll just file a case after. I think, Mr. Chair, that's our problem here, that the way by which Suara so goes about their business, it, it really shows uh, impunity. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a culture of impunity, a culture of walang pakiala, anything goes. So that's why, Mr. Chair, I, I think, and I hope this persuades my fellow members here, that this is an obligation that we have as members of Congress. This is, ito na po yung public interest, common good, general welfare portal, that is being referred to by the Constitution. But, again, I will cite it again, neither any franchise or right be granted except under the condition that it should be subject to amendment, alteration, or repeal by Congress when the common good so requires. They are skirting provisions on the NPC. They are focusing only on, they have no more obligations because they have no one here. They are focusing on YouTube. But yet, they still go about doing the same things. Mr. Chair, can we um, maybe ask the Chief of Operations again? They, they are aware that since Swarasloop is not a separate corporation, they are bound by sections 4 and 7 of the franchise. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Chair. And they also understand that under sections 4 and 7, they have the duty, self-regulated duty actually, to provide balanced programming. Yes, sir. So how do we now re reconcile that responsibility to the public of giving balanced programming, avoiding fake news, avoiding red tagging. What is being done now? Mr. Chair, uh, may I ask? Okay, one more. We mentioned during the last hearing, they mentioned that there is now an ethics committee, or uh, what do you call that? What is your grievance committee called? Um, the question is directed to the chief of operations. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. What is the committee that you have Ethics and Grievance. Ethics and Grievance Committee. So when it is not on free to air TV, does it not apply to the producer? Because I remember the the other board member mentioned, uh, the board uh, member of the board mentioned that whether this is on air no, or on YouTube, lahat ng ginagawa nila's programa would be at the end of the day subject to a report of which supposedly this Ethics and Grievance Committee would Delivery, is that correct, Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. And this, despite being on YouTube, should have gone through the Ethics and Grievance Committee, is that correct, Mr. Chair? Would that go through that hearing? No, after this hearing. Mr. Chair, may, uh, um, may I ask my good colleague, uh, the Honorable Manuel, what is the date of the video that they. January 9, 2024. January 9. It is now February 7. Bakit ngayon lang po? Isn't it supposed to be the whole purpose of a production report is that the moment that that was produced, it will be reviewed by your committee, subject to action. Just because ngayon lang nakita. Mr. Chair, we have received the report from the Ethics and Grievance Committee. 
Mr. Chair, I think the, the whole point of the committee is to avoid complaints. Oh, no. That's why you have your production team report on it right after production, before anyone has seen it, before anyone has been offended, before any crime is committed. Mr. Chair, ang problema po natin ito, dito, most honestly, yung grievance committee seems to be a reactionary one. You might as well call it the Congressional Inquiry Response Committee. Kasi, yun ang nangyayari po, no? They only constituted the committee last hearing after the fact already of the um, issue on the budget of Congress. And then now, they are going to tell us that the grievance committee will act on it only after it was brought up by Representative Manuel, after the fact of the offense. So, Mr. Chair, this goes back to my point, no? Na yung the way by which they handle their business, it's very, you know, hands off. And I think this really goes into the provision and the common good that we should respond to. The other matters, Mr. Chair, I just want to reiterate na po, no? Because uh, this was already mentioned. Hindi ka tulad sa ano, dadahan mo talaga sa prosento kasi... Pero the way it's explained to us, parang balik natin. Ah, hindi, hindi. Kaya nga po, kaya ko ang tinutunan. Meron po kayong rules pagdating po sa reporter, meron po correspondents, pero pagdating sa commentators, wala. Kasi yun, kakasabi na po ba yan ang operations? Which, you know, tapos binigay nyo ng 10 days suspension. Eh, ba't yung binigyan ng 10 days suspension? Eh, wala pa rin siyang ginawang, hindi pa rin siya cover doon sa manual niya. I mean, it does not make sense. And that's what Congressman Daso was saying earlier. Na, you know, the more you, uh, you have to be very careful kasi you are now kind of contradicting each other. So, mag-ingat na po tayo doon sa mga, kasi syempre, we would like to discuss this uh, fairly and uh, we are trying to understand how you operate. No? And uh, the Honorable uh, Timbo, who has attended uh, all the hearings of this committee, uh, has always been uh, fair in her assessment and has always been objective in her questions. So the Honorable Timbo is still at the floor. She's still at the Well, actually, Mr. Chair, I just want to ask you dito tungkol sa kanilang code of ethics pero sa totoo lang po nakaka walang ganyan na po, di ba? Kasi eh, pagpapalusot lang naman po, di ba? Eh, kung ganito yung rule ang sasabihin lang naman, papalitan lang naman ng tawa dito sa imbis na commentator eh, ano, imbis na reporter o news anchor na tawagin commentator eh, hindi naman pala code of ethics ito kung hindi cheat code huwag na lang po, thank you na lang po I will just give to the Next. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Salamat. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Sarah Kimbo. The Honorable uh, Tina Pancho, second guys, from Bulacan. Uh, Mr. Chair, makikita po natin na uh, in any company, there's always a chain of... Ano ba talagang gusto nila uh, itanong about Pastor Apollo Kibolo? Uh, yung si Pastor Kibolo, hindi po siya stockholder of record. Hindi rin siya official o ng uh, Suarasok Media Corporation or ng SMN. Oh, he's so, just uh, an honorary chairman. Yeah, he's not part of the day-to-day -day operation of SMN. Nung, nung 2000, 2019 o 2000, ang stockholdings niya sa Suarasok Media Corporation ay 1.5%. Naibenta na po yun. 1.5%. So, so maliit lang? Maliit masyado. Katiting masyado ang kanyang uh, uh, stockholdings. Tapos binenta yan ha. So hindi namin makita anong relevance na siya iimbitahin ba dito, kundi politika ito. So, how is it like sa Pina, tapos may threat na contempt, and then what are the rest? Well, galing sa kaliwa. Ha? Galing sa kaliwa ang, ang, uh, ano yun, ang, threat. ang threat na yun. Ha? But uh, nakikita namin na walang relasyon si Pastor Kibuloy dito. Hindi ko alam bakit didiktik siya dito. Kaya okay, naman. Sir, how is it like na uh, kanina yung sa... NTRCB pinupunto na dapat daw ma maban ang SMN sa social media platforms. Ang kaso sa NTRCB, dalawang programa lamang. Uh, una, yung laban kasama ang bayan and gikan sa masa o uh, uh, Rudy Duterte or Representative Duterte. Yung dalawa lang kaso, yung dalawa lang, then, hindi pa final yun. 
we are on appeal sa office of the President and this time, we will know ano yung talaga stand ni, ni President Bongbong Marcos about SMNI. So, nag-appeal tayo. Ibig sabihin, yung decision ng MTRCB is not yet final and executory. Now, doon sa SMNI, kami dalawa, may programa rin kami. Siya ang uh, Pinoy... Pinoy Legal Minds. Ako, itanong mo kay Panyero, e, bakit kami apiktado? Uh -huh. Dalawang programa naman. Tapos, yung, yung kaso namin, well, hindi naman kasama sa kaso. We are just giving free legal advice online. It's purely for public service. But I don't know bakit ayaw talaga nila sa SMNI. Baka may natatakot sila sa magbibigay ng information ng SMNI. Of course, hindi natin pwede sabihin na sa, doon sa, dito sa Congress kasi may threat na to cite us in contempt na I don't know kung may basihan ba sila. Like for example, sinabi ko yung franchise. Franchise, pag nag-grant na, is already a property right. Uh, protected under the due process clause of the Constitution. Dami nila siya sabi na may right daw sila. You have the right to give, you also have the right to amend. But I do not believe in that argument kasi nakalagay po sa ating sanagang batas, nakalagay po sa ating Constitution, dapat ang parkisa, binigay na 25 years, ibig sabihin, during the 25 years, hindi po pwede tanggalin yan without compliance of the due process clause ng ating sanagang batas. Ito marami ng tanong nito ah. Sino bang takot sa SMNI? na dapat bubusalan natin ang SMNI. Sir, as a franchise expert for how many years, may natin po ba kayong pressure in the uh, later part of the meeting? Opo. Yung sinasabi na dapat mag-endorse uh, ang NTRCB ng move, urging the NTC to suspend SMNI on all platforms, and then here we go, NTRCB sinabi na kung gag gagawa kami ng decision, it would be final or kamaratory presadulo, sinabi, eh, they will amend their charter. Lahat, eh, lahat na attempts dito para busalan ng SMNI, lahat dito ay na-explore. No? Tinanggalan na nga, binusalan na nga dahil sa order ng NDC na uh, binigyan ng pagbubusal ng indefinite period ng SMNI. Tapos, siyempre hindi kasama doon yung uh, uh, online platforms. Hinahabol pa doon. Ha? So, hindi ko alam, magkatanungan ko eh, sino bang takot sa SMNI? No, ta tapos, if you read sa yung side ko na batas, Of course, pinahiyapan tayo. Gusto na details by details to explain. Of course, hindi ko ma-explain lahat doon kasi we are talking of a hundred page uh, decision. Sabi nga doon na pag Frankisa na approve na, kailangan ko warrant to proceeding sa Supreme Court. Ibig sabihin, kailangan may notice, may hearing. Hindi naman notice and hearing dito sa Congress. Ang Congress, ang investigation dito is only in aid of legislation. Hindi sila fiscal. Hindi sila court. Eh. Hindi sila trial of, uh, to get to gather evidence. Kung hindi, Mag-ibisigan lang sila based on the, kung gagawa sila ng batas. But granting na gagawa sila ng batas, kailangan yung batas na yan, hindi ma-violate yung due process clause. Ano yung due process clause? Kailangan fair, kailangan consistent with justice, kailangan hindi arbitrary. Yung ginagawa nila arbitrary, yung ginagawa nila is unconstitutional. And I'm sure kung, is, kung we, will, uh, may, may, we will study a case kasi yung ginagawa nila, out of jurisdiction kasi kasi out wala silang jurisdiction kasi pag itong kaso pag pangkisa granted na ng Congress ang may jurisprudence or may jurisdiction is ng Supreme Court to ito warrant to proceed pero kami po ay naniniwala pa rin no, sa ilalim ng butihing chairman si Honorable Gastang Bontig magkakaroon po tayo ng justisya well uh, sir isa din sa mga natanong ng reasons bakit dapat hindi maripot Oh, first, bakit hindi ba i-book ang SMNI? Kailangan kasi mag-present sila ng ebidensya. Ang tanong, sino ba mag-present ng ebidensya? Korte ba ito? Hindi dito sa korte. Kung hindi, Congress ito mag-conduct ng investigation para gagawa ng batas. Hindi sila mag-astang fiscal, mag-astang puwis. Kasi wala silang jurisdiction na gagawin yan. At isa din po sa mga pinunod ito yung sa disclaimer. Dapat nang yung disclaimer. Yung mga commentator doon. First, practice yan sa lahat ng mga media establishment. Kung, kung ayaw nila ng disclaimer, gagawa sila ng batas na illegal ang disclaimer. In this case, may batas ba na, na, na nagbabawal ng disclaimer? Wala! So it means, kung walang batas na nagbabawal ng disclaimer, legal ang disclaimer, disclaimer practice nga yan. Hindi lang ng SMI, lahat ng media establishment, practice ang disclaimer. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.